Make sure you follow me on Twitch for live interactive gameplay. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? A lot of you guys have been asking me about this EA loot box meeting with the UK Parliament. Apparently, UK Parliament, the Digital Culture Media and Sports Committee, they had an evidence session for its investigation into addictive and immersive technologies. They brought people from EA, people from Epic, to discuss Fortnite skins and, and the addiction of, of buying skins and playing games. And then they also talked a little bit about the EA loot crate controversy. And we're, we're gonna start with EA first because I really, I really just wanna jump into it. When asked about loot boxes, EA defended them by saying that they were ethical, and fun. I'm reading a, a, a broken down article from PC Gamer, but you guys can go see the full thing if you just fucking Google it. I'll have a link to the, the actual parliament website down below to watch it. It's a long watch. It's a lot of cluster fucked old men trying to talk about technology that they don't have any clue about, which is hilarious, but it, it, it's, it's pretty boring. Um, they are surprise mechanics, just like surprise toys. EA is comparing loot crates to Kinder Eggs. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. The biggest difference between buying a Kinder Egg and buying an EA game with loot crates in it is if, okay, if I were to buy a Kinder's Egg from EA, I would buy the Kinder's Egg and then I would find out that they only sold me the tin foil surrounding the Kinder Egg. And then I would have to buy the, the chocolate extra. I would have to buy the toy as a microtransaction. Um, the little ball that holds the toy in would be a DLC. And then the toy itself would be the loot crate. Um, if I wanted the full experience of that Kinder's Egg, I have to buy it three or four times. I have to spend more money than what is advertised when it comes to EA games. If I'm buying a Kinder's Egg, sure, there's a surprise inside, but I know that. And it's $1.30. And I got the chocolate, I got the tin foil, I got the ball, and I got the toy. And that's the, that's the biggest difference, and that's why... I wish there was somebody on that fucking committee that wasn't 150 years old and they would actually have the knowledge to call that shit out when they heard it. But of course they didn't because all these people running these committees are old dinosaurs. Uh, so this is what we have to deal with. Videos from me making fun of it. They also went pretty hard on Fortnite when it comes to the addictiveness of buying skins and they brought up this one article from the British news where it was like, yeah, this kid was using his uncle's account to play Fortnite and ended up spending 1,600 pounds in one gaming session. Uh, how does that happen? I think that's the equivalent of a kid stealing somebody's credit card. Like, let's say you went into mommy and daddy's purse, grabbed their credit card, and went to the store, right? It'd be the same thing. You shouldn't have been at the store in Fortnite. You were just playing the game. You shouldn't have purchased those skins. But here's where I'm kind of indifferent. I'm a little bit on the fence with it because I feel like there needs to be a nice give and take from both sides. I actually think that Epic was, they, they answered it pretty well. They said, um, they said that they have parental control to stop that kind of shit from happening. And the committee was just dumbfounded. They're like, well, should that be on the parent or should it be on you? Well, I mean, in this case, specifically, I think it should have been on the uncle, right? It should have be, it should be on the parents for stuff like this. The gambling is another issue we're going to get into because I feel like gambling and loot crates should be in games that are rated either mature or higher. I don't think they should be in anything. I think they need to follow the letter of the law with it. They There was an example given if a 15 year old boy or a girl for that matter, because in, inclusivity in my, in my example, turns up at a casino and tries to walk in or a betting shop, is it the responsibility of the parent to stop that child or is it the betting owner or is it the, the, the owner of the casino? I actually think there's laws in place that tell you that it would be the casino owner, right? Sure, the parent should be watching their kid, but if a casino owner has somebody betting in their casino who's underage, I'm pretty sure they get fined. So that would be EA's fault on that one. Um, if somebody walks into a bar underage and buys a drink, that's on the bar owner. They get fined and they get their liquor license pulled, right? So this th that is on EA, but anyways, when it comes to Fortnite where you can buy skins, there's no gambling mechanics or anything like that. That's on the parent. They can give you all the tools in place humanly possible. But if a kid is buying games on an account that has your credit card tied to it, you're a fucking idiot. Parents need to start being fucking parents again. And they need to stop allowing games like Fortnite or 
video platforms like YouTube to just control their kids and just babysit their kids because that's what a lot of these parents do now they toss them the ipad here fucking play this for a little while i'm watching oprah i'm watching my soaps play this and then the kid goes on there steals the credit card and then fucking buys a bunch of skins whose fault is that is that epic's fault because it's a free-to-play shooter and they need to make money no but i bet you if you submitted a ticket and went through their refund policy i'm sure they'd help you out but no 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 it's not on the parent no god no it's on it's on the company that's selling the skins for look i don't like skins as much as the next person i don't like microtransactions i think that they're ruining the industry but i think that there should be some responsibility on the parent to you know do your fucking job nobody asked you to get fucked like that was on you and now you have a little kid who wants to play fortnite that's also on you and then you have a kid that wants to play fortnite and buy skins i mean you're doing a fucking terrible job that's why you need to buy your kids like Ghost Recon, not Breakpoint, of course, because we need a real, like a good one. Uh, buy your kids uh, games like Squad and World War Three, and get them started on the right track. Hardcore, gritty, tactical shooters. There's no microtransactions in those because nobody plays them. That being said, the main point of this video is EA, you, you, you can't just say that loot boxes are now just surprise mechanics. You're not allowed to say that they're not uh, unethical because they are, especially when they're in games that are for underage kids when it comes to gambling. If you have loot crates in a game that's rated E for everyone, that's not that's not right. There should not be gambling mechanics. I don't care if you think they're gambling or not, they are. Even if you even if you show the odds, it's still gambling. But that's only one fat gamer's opinion. I want to know what you guys think down below let me know this is an interesting one i could i honestly if, if somebody were to come to me and like actually fry i believe this and they were like opposite of me i i understand both sides of the coin here and this is just my take on this this topic um i think at the end of the day i think loot crates and microtransactions are a plague of existence on the industry but when it comes to the underage shit and when we're talking about kids m parent your kids maybe maybe that's the fucking response here is to parent your kids and don't allow them to purchase this shit. And if they do purchase this shit, punish them instead of babying them and trying to be like, well, Jimmy, uh, you know, maybe next time just try not to spend all of my fucking money. No, punish them, throw them in the fucking room, take away their shit and give them fucking consequences because it's ruining it for everybody else. My name is Big Fry. If you guys enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like button, share it on social media, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you guys are using now, whatever, whatever these pesty kids are using nowadays. And if you guys uh, enjoy the content enough to hit the subscribe button, I would fucking appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.